from Signature Sounds. We're here on a Thursday night with another in our series of 25th anniversary live stream concerts from here at the Parlor Room in Northampton. And uh, tonight we have a wonderful show for you with Heather Maloney, who just happens to be sporting a new holiday EP. It's called Christmas Anyway. So uh, we're excited to have live music tonight. We also uh, invite you to uh, send along any questions for Heather, not requests necessarily, because she's got a show planned for tonight, as you will see. But uh, if you have any questions a little bit later on, we'll be taking questions from the audience. So we hope you'll participate in that. And uh, also, please uh, mind the tip jar, if you would. Uh, obviously, this is free to watch, but we appreciate tips. That's how Heather gets paid. That's how we support the series here at the Parlor Room. There's uh, info on your screen. So. Good evening, Heather Maloney. How you doing? Good evening, Jim. I'm good. I'm, I'm feeling really good. Here. This, this is, is special. special. We're starting to feel the holiday vibe. It's in the end. Tonight also happens to be the first night of Hanukkah. Yes, that's Hanukkah. That's right. That's right. So holidays, uh, happy Hanukkah. Happy Hanukkah. Happy Hanukkah. Happy Hanukkah. Happy Hanukkah. It's always great to see you on the Parlor Room stage. Um, little known fact, Heather was the very first artist to ever perform. An audience here at the Park Room in yeah. November of 2012 with your buddy's darling side. Oh my gosh, that was 2012. Whoa. Yeah, November 28th, to be exact. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Wow. And you guys kind of flipped. You you did the first set, the first show, and did the second set, and then it was the second show at 10 o'clock or whatever. They did the first set, and you did the second. You remember? I, I do, but was that before the EP that we're talking to? Oh yeah. yeah. Right. So that was that was like wow. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> really in that space in my head. Like, so it's it's always special when we see Heather here on the front row of the stage, going back to where uh, it all started, yeah. and and that's right around the time we joined the label as well. Um, I had seen you not that long before that. Uh, your your manager at the time, Peter Hamlin, uh, was raving about you, and uh, one night I went to Rio Robo, which was a great a great joint there in uh, Turner's little while for my music. And, oh my uh, gosh, yes. Yeah. 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 Oh, wow. So you first saw me play at Rio Robo, at yes. a uh, Rio restaurant. They were Shout great. Out to JD. Shout out to JD. That's exactly right. Yeah, that was Shortly thereafter, uh, you went to the station studio, worked with Martin Baker, and made the great self titled album. We were off and running. That's right. That's right. Wow. So yeah. awesome. Well, uh, and since uh, having made three albums for the label and a couple of EPs, this is actually the third EP, this new one, Christmas Anyway, Visual Aid here. It's just out. Uh, six songs. Now, you kind of uh, decided to do this kind of late game. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can hear it in my voice. But it was. It was um, it was a journey, but I think um, everyone involved really felt strongly that it needed to be done this year. Um, so maybe that. Was it's not so much a secret, but it's just the way the calendar falls. A lot of Christmas albums 
are recorded in the summertime because right. you've got to work in advance, right? So, yeah. uh, you know, you pile into a studio somewhere in your t-shirts and you throw up some Christmas lights and try to get the vibe of, of Christmas time. But I think it was like, but what, late, late August that uh, you had this idea to do this album. Yeah, we were already late. <laughs> but yeah, I, it, it also just, and maybe this is the nature of, you know, we recorded this album entirely remotely, which is a first for me um, because of COVID and um, maybe because of the way we were able to work um, just very efficiently. I, well, I'll get more into later um, the team, the incredible team that made that actually possible. But um, I think there was, a, there was a strange and very, um, just sort of meant to be-ness about the project that just propelled the whole thing forward quickly and made things fall into place. I don't know if you felt that same way, but. Uh, well, it, it became apparent. At first, when you first came to us with it, I was sort of like, well, it's sort of late in the game here to, you know, <laughs> to do this, but, but it did really seem to quickly fall into place. And, and just the way you made the album, it was such a, a 2020 way of putting this together and uh, as, as folks will hear tonight, uh, the themes on, on the album sort of speak to uh, not a traditional holiday, you know, which this isn't going to be coming up. We knew it seemed even in August, it seemed like uh, the holiday season was gonna be different this year and there was gonna be a lot of separation and maybe a little introspection and you get a little of that from uh, this new EP. Exactly, yeah, that, that's what it's all about. It's, it's, um, it's the most bittersweet thing I think I've done so far, yeah. yeah. Tell me a little bit about, um, you grew up in New Jersey. Yes. You're, you're just such a non-Jersey person. No, no <laughs> offense to Jerseyites out there, but I, I was always like, she's from Jersey? I know, I, you're not the only one. Um, tell me a little bit about your holiday traditions and your family. Well, um, I don't know that this has anything to do with New Jersey, <laughs> but I, my family is sort of unique in that um, there's a strong winter solstice uh, tradition and um, uh, on one side there's Christmas, um, your classic Christmas celebration with the trees and the gifts and everything, but I never sort of really attached fully to tradition in general. I think just growing up with uh, have, you know, different traditions in my life um, made me feel like I didn't have as like, you know, people really hold fast to um, their holiday traditions, um, which I always thought was beautiful and always felt like a little bit on the outside of. And um, yeah, so I think for me, I, I've really extracted my own meaning out of what the holidays are. Um, yeah. How about holiday music? Is there any uh, gr growing up or now like holiday music that sort of caught you at an early age that had to be part of every every holiday? Not so much, but in the last like almost eight years, um, my, my sweetheart listens to um, the Muppets <laughs> a Christmas together every year, um, top to bottom, many times through. <laughs> and um, I've like fallen in love with that record. I think it's just, <laughs> chock full of, I mean, it's like a children's record, right? It's John Denver and the Muppets and all their voices. It's wonderful, it's hilarious. Um, it's, it's corny and, but it's also extremely deep and like chock full of wisdom. And for being a, you know, a kid's album, there's so much there, there are so many layers. So I, I that's sort of become my, my holiday music. Nice. Yeah. Well, Heather Maloney is here with us at the parlor room. Uh, and she's gonna play some music for us. What do you want to uh, do to kick it off, Heather? Well, I thought maybe I would play something from my first uh, Signature Sounds LP and a song that has kind of remained close to my heart. Um, it's a song called Dirt and Stardust. Awesome.
I don't want these walls to wall me in forever. I don't want to make my home on fenced in land. We can buy our lot, we can mark our spot, but we're travelers whether we like it or not. So please make my castle out of sand. Oh, please make my castle out of sand. And I don't want light that lights forever. I don't want fire that stays stable. And the wick is lit, it burns a bit, and then it goes out at the end of it. So please don't hang a bulb above my table. Oh, please don't hang a bulb above my table. Cause I am made of all the same stuff that makes the seasons what they are. I am made of dirt and stardust, my daddy's dreams, my mother's heart. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And I don't want to promise that outlives the promiser. Hey, and my body will not last longer than a metal band. And this tender expanse, it's called romance. And like anything great, it's riddled with chance. So please don't put a diamond on my hand. Oh, please don't put a diamond on my head. this 2020 but also being like realistic and feeling all of the feelings um 
dark and light and everything in between. And um, so, like I said, that that's a song that was on my first Signature Sounds release. And gosh, like I'm looking back on the years of being in this music family and just thinking that has been a real light, like um, having stumbled into this um, music community has been, um, yeah, a highlight of my life and um, getting to be creative and have it be supported. Um, I promised I wasn't gonna cry tonight, so I'm gonna move on. <laughs> but anyway, that was my first um, Signature Sounds release and then continuing the 25 years of Signature Sound celebration, I'm going to do a song from my last full-length LP, um, and um, which was called Soil in the Sky, and this is a song on it that means a whole lot to me, and one that this year, this 2020 year, um, this song has just become insanely relevant and one that's kind of kept me um, grounded. It's called All in Your Name. Ain't that your jacket in the mudroom? Ain't those your shoes there by the door? You never left the house without them Now you don't need them anymore Ain't those your keys, they're on the table And they've gone everywhere you go They opened every door you walked through Turned every engine on your road I'd run those keys out to the driveway Joke that you wouldn't have gone far And I further than you've ever been from me Than you've ever been from me And like a song I can't see you But you move me just the same like the radio waves all through the air you invisibly make it okay like the moon i can't touch you but you pull me just the same like the crashing of waves all through the ocean i rise and i fall in your name all in say at first the pain is piercing an angry bee inside your chest but it can't sting like that forever and even heartbreak takes a rest they say just like a sword in battle a sharpened blade will slowly dull with every thought inside It'll hurt a little less And like a song I can't see you But you move me just the same Like the radio waves All through the air You invisibly make it okay And like the moon I can't touch you But you pull me
But you move me just the same Like the radio waves all through the air You invisibly make it okay Like the moon, I can't touch you But you pull me just the same Like the crashing of waves all through the ocean I rise and I fall in your name All in your name mm. Oh my goodness. Well, so we told you that this was um, sort of a double celebration show. We're celebrating um, 25 years of glorious signature sounds and um, also celebrating celebrating Christmas anyway, celebrating the new holiday EP. Um, and so this sort of will be the beginning of the holiday portion of the show. And um, I've got some extremely special guests um, and special to me guests that are going to be joining uh, joining me, um, starting with um, someone uh, maybe you've seen. He's he's uh, Western Massachusetts music family, and uh, an incredible songwriter and performer. And his name is Seth Glear. And um, I love. To, oh, there's Seth. Yes, I, I'm gonna um, have a little chat and welcome with him. Hey, buddy. Hey, how are you? Can oh, you hear me? So good. Yes. Wonderful, wonderful. Sophie came for the concert as well. <laughs> Hi, Sophie. Sophie on the sofa. Sophie on the sofa. You got it. You sound great tonight. Yeah, yeah. Yes, amazing. Um, so, hang on, I'm hearing a little echo of myself. That's better. Um, I wanted to talk to you about doing a song, doing a Dar Williams song together. Oh, my gosh. I, um, I know this is a bit sacrilegious, but your version of Christians and the Pagans is better than the original. Um, I mean, and I love Dar. I've I've been lucky enough to be her keyboard player um, on and off for the last couple of years, and uh, she's amazing. But 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 what you and Ryan did on that song, it was just so. I was so thrilled to get the invitation to 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 join in in some singing and 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 in some playing, and it, it's it's just great what you did with it. Oh my gosh, Seth, uh, and you like. Seriously, you came in there with a stacked. Like a stacked harmony and then like a harmonium that just made the whole thing glorious. Yeah, some glue, some glue. Some glue. Yeah. Some glorious glue. So, yeah. The oh, I can't hear you. Oh. oh, there you are. I can hear you now. Great. Oh, great. Um, I was just telling Jim you know, that the Christians and the pagans kind of resonates with me because it's kind of like my household growing up. But I also, I, I feel like you're sort of an example of a songwriter who really highlights um, tolerance and understanding. And um, yeah, just, just seeing each other um, as humans who are, and everyone having worth no matter what their beliefs are or whatever. And so I just, I really thought it was special that in you in particular was um, involved on this one. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Well, well, thank you for that. I mean, that's our job right now. I mean, it's something Sophie said back in, in April as I was sort of kind of drifting along with going, okay, well, there's not going to be a release for me this year, this year, there's not going to be any touring what is my job? And and one of the things that she sort of anchored in was like, your job is to imagine. Like that's our job as, as, and, and, and I don't believe that tolerance should be, uh, should take that much imagination, but, but that's part of, that's part of what we're doing here with songs. We're trying to string together a better world. Mm, oh, so well said. Yeah. Yeah, totally. And, 
and this is one of those songs. I, I feel like the symbol of sit, sitting together at a table is like, oh. I mean, it just sort of comes down to something like that, sharing a meal together. Um, yeah. But anyway, um, I also wanted to highlight that you're going to have a Christmas special or a holiday special Yeah. Um, on December 19th. Is that right? I'm calling it a spectacular. Because a spectacular. <laughs> special is what's on sale this time of year. <laughs> So I'm calling it a spectacular. I'm so thrilled to have you and Liz Longley as a guest and Dar Williams as a guest. And uh, and yeah, and it's 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 free. It is on December 19th uh, at eight o'clock and uh, it's available on um, uh, my Facebook and, and YouTube and Patreon and all that kind of stuff. I can't wait. That's going to yeah. be so great. I heard Thank there's going to be a really, really special guest, but I won't. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Jesus Christ is going to be there. <laughs> oh, yeah. But we are pulling. There is so similar to what you were talking about with the Muppets. Like, there's this beautiful line where, like, just cheesiness uh, can kind of illuminate the magic of the season. And so that's the line we're, we're trying to walk. There's a lot of fake snow in the living room, right? I'm so into it. Give me all the fake snow. <laughs> I need it right now. Um, so perfect segue to yeah. the song that we're going to do together. Um, yeah. Talk about Jesus. Um, this is uh, a song that you you brought up to me as a holiday song or sort of a, a non-holiday holiday song that yeah. um, you blew my mind with. Uh, what well, is it? Well, and I, I think I might have to give some credit to John Carroll, who first brought it to my attention, who's my my former neighbor at Eastworks. But um, uh, it's my favorite, yeah, non-holiday holiday song, and it's uh, the Joan Osborne tune, One of Us, um, which was actually written by Eric Bazilian, who was in this 80s band called The Hooters, and then ended up being a, a, a writing team on that first Joan album. But it's just a... Uh, it's a whale of a song in regards to the the question that it that it asks and how fundamental the question is and simple, mm. but but um, but but how uh, how how transformational it is at the same time. Mm. Mm. So so good. Also, that's the best last name I think I've heard in a while. Brazilian, yeah, yeah. totally. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah, <laughs> truly. <laughs> um. Well, Seth, I am just so grateful to be like in this music family with you. It's and good to be in your orb. Uh, same, same, yeah. same. I just, I treasure what you do. Um, and, and just thank you for all the light that you're putting out there. Uh, likewise. Thanks for including yeah. me in this. Yeah. Amazing. Well, I'm going to, um, just so everyone knows how this is going to work tonight. We can't collaborate live together because there's, um, you know, when we're shooting the the waves at each other from mm -hmm. <laughs> across the globe they take time and music also exists in time and so we're not able to um to collaborate live together but what we've done for for the show so that we can have that togetherness is everyone's um given me pre-recorded performances that i am now going to perform live to so seth sent me um, some beautiful parts to this song, One of Us, um, that I'm going to get to sing to now, Seth, and I will enjoy a virtual um, version of you now. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you yeah. so much, Seth. Happy I'll see you on December you. 19th. Bye, right. Sophie. <laughs> see ya. <laughs>
just a stranger on a bus trying to make his way goodness. Virtual Seth, you're so good. Um, so I have another guest um, that I'm really excited to bring on and someone, another member of the musical family. And I, those of you who are, are joining in or have been here already, um, I'm so grateful that you're here. Um, I weirdly feel like we're connected together right now. And it's especially meaningful to be in this room, in the parlor room, in my hometown, downtown Northampton, um, around my amazing record label family, and um, on the stage where we have shared so many moments together. It, there's there's like energy left in here that I'm drawing on as well. But anyway, um, talk about connectivity. Uh, this um, friend of mine and collaborator and also someone who has now been on a number of my records, um, wildly talented and um, a massive heart, um, wonderful person. His name is Reed Sutherland and I would love to um, welcome him in for a tiny bit of chat before we make a song together. Hey. How's oh, it going? Hello, Reed. Hello. Oh, thank you for that marvelous introduction. That was that was beautiful. You and Seth sound great together. You and virtual Seth sound incredible. Oh Can you hear me? my goodness. I'm so sorry. Right now you sound like a dolphin. <laughs> um, oh my gosh. Let me just see if I can switch something to make you sound a little now? better. Do I sound less we like a dolphin now? We are maneuvering 2020 here. Um, dolphin mode activated. Mm. <laughs> you really do sound like a dolphin. I can't hear words. I can just hear vibrations. <laughs> um, I may be able to use someone else's 
device to talk to you if possible. Oh, here comes a. Oh, yes. How about. Okay. Ooh. Okay, thank you. Got you. Oh, I can hear you in this one. Oh, good. Okay, sweet. Uh, it doesn't sound like a dolphin? Oh, hi, bud. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> oh, I can hear you in this one. Okay, now there's about a 30 second delay. It may not be possible for us to chat. Um, I'll, I'll rule it out as soon as we get the. Oh, okay. We're gonna try one more thing. Thank you, everyone who's watching for um, hanging on us here. We are navigating all sorts of new territory. All right, let's try this on for size. Can you hear me now? I can hear you now. Can you hear me? Oh, sad. You still sound okay. like a dolphin. <laughs> well, perhaps we can play music together first. And if we can figure out why you sound like a dolphin, um, <laughs> then we can have a chat a little later. Oh, Reed, love you, bud. Sorry about that. Um, I'm going to go play music <laughs> with you now, though. Mwah. <laughs> oh, look, there's Reed's lovely face. Okay, so we talked about the Muppets already, and um, this is this is actually a song that we decided to do on the EP that is from the Muppets Christmas album, and I love this song so much, and eventually uh, we decided in, in working out the song, and I'll, I'll tell this story to you later um, fully, but it's... It's a medley with with um, Kermit's oops Rainbow Connection, and um, I don't know if you saw that video of Kermit playing his banjo in the woods to Rainbow Connection this year, but I I know a lot of us wept to it. Um, sorry, one second, I'm hearing a feedback. Technology. Anyway, um, this is a medley with that song, Rainbow Connection.
it's something that I'm supposed to be. It's in every one of us by and by you. It's in every one of us by. Oh my goodness. So fun to play with you, Reed. All right, so hopefully we can have a chat later, but um, we'll see if technology is on our side. And um, actually, I can't actually hear what they're saying, though. So, okay. <laughs> We're working out something really quickly. We had um, a couple of fun conversations planned for you tonight, but I, um, for some reason, I'm unable to hear our guests um, who are joining, or at least I was with Reed, so we're trying to um, work out if it's still possible to have conversations, which we hope. Everyone cross fingers at home. <laughs> Thank you guys for your patience. This is 2020 in a nutshell. We're doing it, we're coasting, we're rolling with the punches, the technological punches. Um, there's an amazing team of people here who are like just surfing the waves of, of the changes in how we do shows um, in amazing ways. So right now, um, our amazing team is trying to figure out how we can have conversations. So applaud them from home because they're the rock stars. They're the unsung heroes. Um, I don't know. I can do I can do this thing. I can do this. Oh, thank you. <laughs> That's amazing. That's um, thank you. I'm plugging into a new place. Can you oh. yourself on a short delay? Yes. Okay. Wonderful. Thank you. Okay. So now we can bring in guests. Um All right. So I would love to bring in my dear friend No. Longtime collaborator and um, just a dear, dear heart. Uh, his name's Ryan Hummel. And I would and love to be able to bring him on. <laughs> oh, hello. Two for the price of one. Yeah. That is a Cynthia <laughs> Tolson. We've got a rye. We've got a synth. Look at these cutie pies. Hey guys. Hi. Hey, Heather. Hey. Welcome. Thank you. And um, Cynthia and Ryan are joining us from LA. True. Yep. yep. And yeah. Everything that we've been doing collaboratively, we've been doing from thousands of miles apart lately. It's been, uh, it's, it's been new. Yes. <laughs> it's been really fun. It has. I'm hearing like myself right after I speak, so if I'm weird, that's why. But I'm gonna give you a chance to speak um, because I think that the work that we did together on this record uh, really was something special and and your, um, you really made this something that was possible in a short amount of time with none of us getting to be together. And so I just wanted to give you a little um, airtime, like talking about what the process of making this record was like for you. Thank you. Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, it was, 
it, it was it was different for us as a team in that you know it's for the obvious reasons we can't be in the same room together and the effect that that has on developing an idea uh, is is so intense because typically what would happen is we'd be in the same room and talking about what we want to do going and trying it and then going back into the same room together and listening back to it and you get this instant feedback and a chance to sort of ride the like you said like ride the wave of of and the momentum of creativity and we just had to do that in a little bit more of a disjointed and slow and patient way um but it's a testament to the whole team you know that we did it we totally could make something that feels connected to to both of us to all of us and um i'm really yeah i i came away feeling really proud of the work we did together and i'm so thrilled that it's now available for people to hear and take into their own lives yeah yeah for sure i feel like it really speaks to um the trust that we have in each other as a team and um i don't know that i would have ever wanted to make a record remotely um mm -hmm. i don't think i ever would have even pushed for that for any kind of a project like i am all about the the way that we made soil in the sky together which was like let's all you know pile up in a cabin and for a week and just <laughs> immerse ourselves in the creative process and this was this was very different because we were all apart. However, I think we in, you know, like when we're in a room creating together, I feel like we're sort of tossing a ball back and forth, you know? Yeah. And and it's growing as we as we we're shaving parts off, we're adding parts on, and it's just like this game of catch. And then and when you're in a room together, that process, um, especially when you've been working together for years, starts to become almost like um, it's so fluid, it's almost instantaneous sometimes. Mm -hmm. But when you're working from so far away, it's like throw the ball to the other coast. And then you have like a few days to just sit with some space yeah, and sit with the ideas that were just thrown to you. And I think because of that space in between the tosses, this album like ended up in a different space. Like I, I think that... The, the spaciousness of being apart sort of led to something new for us. And that was really like, I don't know, it was very creatively um, fulfilling. And um, yeah, I'm just, I'm so grateful that we're, we're all the unit that we are. Um, Me too. Everyone, that's Ryan Hummel and that's Cynthia, Cynthia Tolson, Cynthia Tolson. <laughs> <laughs> Um, two of the most like talented, ridiculously wildly talented and kind hearted people. Um, and I love you both so much. And I'm love so glad too, that, you too. that you're both here. Yeah. Cynthia, um, she is an incredible violinist um, and she's a string player. She's, she's played um, the entire string sections on Christmas anyway. And, uh, and we also did um, the live, uh, Soil in the Sky release tour together. Yeah. Um, yeah. So welcome, 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 Synth. Thank you. Yeah. This album was so fun to do, even though it was difficult and new. Um, yeah. I mean, I'm so happy with how everything turned out. I think everybody is that that's worked on it. Yeah. It's special. I treasure it. You sound um, great, Heather. This is it's fun to watch this. <laughs> it's, we, it's like we didn't we didn't have to go to sound check or load it or anything today. So we just have the easy job tonight. But yeah. you sound beautiful and carry on. <laughs> uh, thank you, friends. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thanks for being a part of this and yeah. um, for rolling with our, our new technology adventure. Um, oh yeah. It's don't such a new don't thing. think twice about yeah. it. Just yeah. <laughs> it's 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 weird, but it is what it is. Yeah. It's twenty twenty. Here we are. Um, so I want to <laughs> go into a song now that, um, and it's, this is perfect because I get to play with, um, the two of you on this one and, and Reed's in there, but he's sneaky. Um, but anyway, this is the song that Ryan, Ryan and I co-wrote, uh, the original and the single on the new record. Um, and it's called Sing a Christmas Song Anyway. And, um... There's a new music video to this song that 
um, you can see. And um, to me, the song is sort of like the core of the album in that it's really about sort of choosing to celebrate in the face of uncertainty. One, two. Um, just for those of you um, at home who are wondering how we're working some of this virtual collaboration, I'm playing um, videos of, of these guys uh, right now from the stage. You can see set up with this little um, baby webcam and, um, and I'm kind of singing to them and singing to you and there's this little triangle that I'm existing in here on stage. So it's kind of fun. So here's that song that I talked about with Seth. Um, Seth Glear sings on this song, and also my friend Liz Longley, uh, two incredible voices. And, uh, and then at some points, it's myself and Seth and Liz and Ryan, and we're all singing together. It feels really festive. It's the Dar Williams song, The Christians and the Pagans. I love this song, um, and it's just such a joy to sing it with these guys. Called her uncle's 
said we're up here for the holiday Jane and I were having solstice Now we need a place to stay And her Christ-loving uncle watched his wife hang Mary on a tree He watched his son and candy canes all made with red dye number three He told his niece it's Christmas Eve, I know our life is not your style She said, Christmas is like solstice, and we miss you, and it's been a while So the Christians on the big inside to gather at the table Finding faith and common ground the best that they were able And just before the meal was served, hands were held and prayers were said Sending hope for peace on earth to all their gods and goddesses. The food was great, the tree plugged in, the meal had gone without a hitch. So Timmy turned to Amber and said, is it true you are a witch? His mom jumped up and said, the pies are burning. And she hit the kitchen, and it was Jane who spoke. She said, it's true, your cousin's not a Christian. But we love trees, we love the snow, the friends we have, the world we share. And you find magic from your God, and we find magic everywhere. So the Christians and the pagans sat together at the table, finding faith and common ground the best that they were able. And where does magic come from? I think magic's in the learning. Cause now when Christians sit with pagans, only pumpkin pies are burning. Amber tried to do the dishes. Her aunt said, really, no, don't bother. Amber's uncle saw how Amber looked like Tim and like her father. He thought about his brother and how they hadn't spoken in a year. He thought he'd call him up and say, it's Christmas and your daughter's here. He thought of father's sons and brothers, saw his own son tug his sleeve, saying, can I be a pagan? Dad said, we'll discuss it when they leave. So the Christians and the pagans sat together at the table, finding faith and common ground the best that they were able, lighting trees in darkness, learning new ways from the olden, taking sense of history, warmed out of the I hope that you appreciated the the beautiful coordination of red plaid shirts between um, Reed and Ryan in that video. I know I did. So um, this is another original on the uh, new record and this song, um, I, I partially dreamt, dreamt this song while we were making the EP. Um, and, and, and then like woke up the next morning and was like, oh my gosh, there's a Christmas song in my psyche and I need to write it. So this ended up, it's a little later on the EP, it's called Table for the Feast. And just like the Christians and the Pagans is sort of about outer tolerance um, and acceptance and expansion and connectivity. This um, song, Table for the Feast, is sort of turning that tolerance inward and allowing um, the spectrum of, you know, whatever uh, occurs within us um, to be there and to be tolerant of our own mental and emotional capacities. So um, this really is sort of the inner version, to me, of the Christians and the Pagans.
and I just want to say one more thing. Um, I've noticed that on Christmas in particular, there's sort of this frantic need to be happy. It's happy Christmas. It's merry Christmas. Um, and you have to have a happy one. And great, I'm so glad if you feel a genuine sense of joy bubbling up from within you. But if you don't, that's okay too. And um, that frantic need to be happy, I think, especially this year, just let that go. Um, let yourself feel what you're going to feel wherever you are, whoever you're with, and whoever you're not with. Good morning, happy Christmas, warm greetings, hello. I wasn't invited, but I've nowhere to go. And you'll probably tell me to please go away, especially on this particular day. But I'm here on your doorstep, and I'm someone you know. It's me, your old friend, I'm your got a long, 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 long table for the feast. You've got a chair for every angel and for every beast. And there's no sugar coating the bitterest taste. So save all that icing for the cookies. some cheer please don't forget the best ornament here it's glowing it's red and it hangs in your chest and even when it breaks it is glorious and you got a long 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 table for the feast you got a chair Day. Look me right in the face Don't pretend I'm not here And don't push me away Sing me a carol Invite me to stay Your table never ends And we all have a place And you've got a long, 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 long Cheer for every angel and for every beast. Could you get along, long, 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 long with me? With your Christmas prayer for peace on earth, begin with peace with me. strings from Cynthia on that one. I love singing singing with those strings. Okay, so I am going to um, check with team for a second and see if you think that we should skip the final chat just in case it doesn't work. 
You want to do it? Okay, beautiful. So we can, so we can, I'm going to do one more song and then um, we get to all chat as a family and get to chat with Reed because we didn't get to hear, well, I didn't get to hear Reed's voice other than it as a dolphin's voice. But um, so yeah, we'll have one more family chat after this last, um, this, this almost last song. This night is flying. Um, but yeah, we're going to do one more song right now and then get to have a little family moment uh, before we say goodbye to the live versions of our family here. But um, this is a song that another um, beautiful, a beautiful music video um, shot by our own signature sounds, um, Georgia Teensma. She um, made this video for A Secret of Christmas. Um, it just premiered on The Bluegrass Situation. You can watch it. And it was filmed at the um, uh, amazing, uh, stunningly beautiful ghost hit recording studio in West Springfield, Massachusetts. And it's a song, an Ella Fitzgerald song that I, oh, I love this song. Well, we did sort of the Ella inspired version of this song. There are, there are a few versions. It's called The Secret of Christmas. And this song is a treasure. Um, it's, it's really touched my heart. Uh, it was arranged by Jaron Olevsky. You can hear his, his work actually on my last uh, record, Soil in the Sky, and he arranged this song for us um, in such a beautiful way. And also introduced the song. I know to Ryan and I, um, I, I don't think either of us had heard this song before. So Jaron, thank you for introducing it to us and for arranging the heck out of it. And... Um, Yes, so this is called The Secret of Christmas. It's not the glow you feel when snow appears it's not the Christmas card you've sent for years it's not the joyful sound When sleigh bells ring song has the best message okay so i think we're gonna bring these beautiful people back 
in for a chat. And I'm so excited to chat with the music fam. Hey. 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 <laughs> uh, sorry, I should say. <laughs> <laughs> Great. You sound perfect. We can't hear Heather. Oh. Oh. Try again, Heather. Oh, almost. Not quite. We see you. Can you hear me now? Yes. Oh, yeah. hey. <laughs> Hello, beautiful people. Thank you for providing those incredibly beautiful sounds um, for everyone tonight and, and um, for me to sing to. It's so fun to sing to virtual you, too. <laughs> yeah, it's a whole new world. <laughs> yeah. We had a great time going traveling forward in time to play this show with you. Yeah. And now we're just able to watch it from the comfort of our homes. But we had a great time playing the show with you too. Yeah. Oh, yes, and same. And I want to give, <laughs> I want to give massive um, props to everyone here. Um, first of all, Ryan and Cynthia um, rearranging their parts and recording them and and sending them ahead of time, and and then uh, Reed, who um, I don't know if you saw the beautiful video work, but. That was all Reed. He saved the day with editing the videos together and putting us all on the screen together and um, and recording uh, your parts to Ryan and Cynthia's. Um, so everyone that you're seeing here tonight on these on the screen uh, put the show together in a magical, beautiful way. So I hope you're applauding from your couches at home because these guys are amazing. Um, and yeah, I just wanted to say that um, you all have been uh, like this project and getting to stay connected and getting to create together has been a real light for me in this in this kind of a dark year. Um, so I just wanted to right here and right now say like the biggest, most giant thank you <laughs> for that. Big for giant, this. you're welcome. This has been great for us yeah. too. Love you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Love you guys so much. Totally. <laughs> Thank you, and you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> um, Thank so, you, <laughs> this is a little um, this is a little flash of what it's like in the van with all of us. <laughs> right. Um, it's like a love fest, and yeah. then it really sort of devolves into some weird, Giggles. goofy stuff. Yeah, we just don't even speak English. I don't think at a certain point, it's just all inside jokes and. Yes. Um, then it's a disaster, truly. It's a disaster. And I'm glad we're not doing it live on air totally. Such but, a disaster. Um, just a little bit. <laughs> uh, Reed, those dolphin sounds were incredible tonight. Thank you for that. Oh, of course. You know, that's you train all your life to make dolphin sounds, and you get an opportunity like this, and you got to do it, you know? <laughs> you got to do it, so. You need your dolphin sound guy on a Christmas EP. You just, you can't do it it's, without it. It's true. It's John Denver and the Muppets had them. They were the first to put dolphin sounds on an album. So I'm just, I'm just following right. the lineage. Factual. Know. 1979. <laughs> anyway. Anyways. All right, you guys. Yeah, I wanted to yeah. see your beautiful faces <laughs> one more time. <laughs> and um, thank you so much for making this album so special. Thanks for making this show special. And uh, lots of love to you guys. I'm sending it out there. Yeah. Thank you. And happy back. happy twenty fifth. Big, huge, amazing yes. happy twenty fifth anniversary to Signature Sounds and Absolutely. Um yes. just you know, Jim and Jared and Peter and everybody, Georgia and everybody there. Um it's impossible to do this without you guys. And I know that Heather you said that too, but it's man, I feel I feel the love all the time from C. It's real. Yep. It's the fam. All right, you guys. It's well, thanks again for joining. Thanks yeah. for spreading the beauty. Thank you. Thank you. Heather. Thank you. Have a good rest of your show. Our pleasure. We'll Thank be watching. you. Bye. Bye. All right. Uh,
so I do want to, um, before we do our final song, how did this show fly by so quickly? Um, I have to say the most massive thank you to my patrons. My patrons are the people who keep, uh, ever since my entire touring life was ended, they, um, you guys are the ones who keep my lights on and the roof over my head and me making albums. I literally, like, uh, you are, um, you're my world. Thank you for having my back the way that you do and, um, and for making this, uh, also being a huge part of why this uh, Christmas anyway was possible. Um, and yeah, we're going to do one more song. This song is a holiday classic that I have always loved for its bittersweetness. A lot of people say bittersweet holiday music is, is, you know, sad. It should be cheery, but this song, this is, uh, have yourself a merry little Christmas classic, just clashing of bitter and sweet in this song. I love it. Uh, my favorite line is let your heart be light. I think that line says so much. Um, to me, it says that the heart is a thing that is inherently light and that we choose to allow it to be that way. Um, so yes, let's muddle through somehow together and, um, and have a merry little Christmas anyway. Thanks, all you guys. Um, so I think we're going to have one little final chat with Jim and get to take some questions And um, before we say goodnight. Bravo, Heather. Thank you, Jim. Beautiful show. Thank you. You and your crew there, your virtual crew, very impressive. <laughs> uh, we had a ton of questions, Heather, so uh, uh, we, we won't ask a ton of questions. We're, we're going to cherry pick a few here. OK. Um, what came first for you, visual art or music? Oh, I love that question. Uh, it, okay, I would say technically visual art. Um, I always loved music, but 
I don't really, I didn't really become like a creator in that realm until later on. So, so yeah, visual. Uh, do you feel there is a difference in your connection or relationship to the two as your music careers moved forward? Oh my God, another really good question. Same, um, same questioner. Oh, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> um, yes, uh, sort of the most obvious way is I love, I love art that has um, like lyrics or quotes or words attached to it somehow. I really love lyric art, and I've started to do that with my own lyrics um, because a lot of times when I'm writing, it really is such a visual experience for me that it almost feels like there's a part missing without without sort of achieving some sort of visual representation of that. Um, so yes, I think as I've as I've had less time on the road and more time at home with my art supplies. I've been in, I've been sort of taking lyrics and expanding upon them with um, visuals, yeah. Kind of a related question from someone else. Have you found this wild year to be inspiring or draining creatively? Mm. These are really good. Um, so much both, so much both. I think I've had a lot of really difficult experiences in my life, and I, a lot of us are, um, we all do. Um, I've, you know, I've had some pretty, uh, some pretty gnarly stuff in my past that I, I used creating to get through. Um, so this year, it's like, you know, I've had trauma, but it's like, we're having this shared trauma experience together. And I think because I've spent so much of my life trying to take traumatic experience and mold it into something beautiful or useful or something to share, this year has felt like points of my life. Um, it's different and that's not to minimize anyone's experience of this year because it is so valid what we're all feeling. Um, but yeah, in a lot of ways, it's felt like another version of something that I've always done. We're with Heather Maloney here in the parlor room, uh, celebrating 25 years of signature sounds. Heather, uh, so much you've done so much artwork, you know, uh, to support your projects of late, designing covers, uh, doing music videos. Really, really impressive. Thank you so much for all the great music and for this show tonight. Really beautiful. Thank you, Jim. Thanks for all the great music that you share with everyone. You bet. Thanks. Uh, a big uh, virtual hand for Jared and Georgia here in the room doing a great job on the tech. And uh, please, folks, uh, please remember to hit the tip jar. That's how uh, folks get paid for tonight. We would certainly would appreciate that. And uh, Heather, we hope to see you on this stage in front of a big room full of people sometime soon. I can't wait. I can't wait. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Jim. The 25th uh, anniversary concert series is going to continue. Uh, we've got another holiday show coming up on uh, Saturday night, December 19th. We just announced this one. It's, uh, you know, we can't do the Sweetback Sisters Country Christmas sing-along spectacular this year. But uh, Zara Bodhi has got something special for you. Zara's got a bunch of the Sweetbacks to do a hunkered down holiday special. It will be the Sweetback Sisters. It'll be a bunch of special guests. Joan Holiday from the River will be part of it. The Young at Heart Chorus. I believe uh, Heather has a role in this too. It's all coming up Saturday night, uh, December 19th at 7 p.m. It'll be rebroadcast re on Sunday afternoon at 3 o'clock. A few other 25th anniversary shows on the horizon as we will uh, flip the calendar to 2021. And who isn't looking forward to that? Uh, coming up on Thursday, January 7th, Elin Jewell from Boise, Idaho. She'll be in the studio with her band for a show on uh, January 7th. On the 14th, Winter Pills from right here in the parlor room. I believe that's going to be a band show as well. Um, Aaron McCown will be here on January 21st and Jeffrey Focalt on the 28th, and we're going to keep this thing rolling right through the week, winter and, uh, and beyond. So thank you so much for uh, tuning in tonight, for Heather Maloney, 
and this great show. Good night from the parlor room. <laughs>